Hi there, Laura here from SheP North America again. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit more about the SheP. So what is a SheP? The SheP is a soft silicone device designed to allow women to urinate while diving in a dry suit. How does it accomplish this mystical feat, you might wonder? Well, with a standard P valve that you know men have been using for years and the device itself, the SheP, and yes, adhesive. I said it, adhesive. It's not as bad as it sounds, ladies, I promise. So we're gonna head over to our little table now and take a closer look at how the SheP works. We'll start with the device itself. It's 100% medical grade silicone. The original SheePs were actually made of latex, but that's not the case anymore. That's why we're making these new videos. As we saw in the last video, your SheePee will show up, pull it out of its kit, hook it into its extension. Once you have your SheePee set up, I pretty much like to leave it that way. I don't pull off the extension. So for the demonstrations, I'm going to use this uh, anatomically correct model. We're going to demonstrate how to use the Eurocare uh, Eurobond 4 and also the Hollister Medical Spray. When preparing my SheP for use, I'll take a pad of rubbing alcohol just to kind of clean off anything that's gotten on there um, when it hasn't been used. I'll just give it a quick wipe. I'll let it dry. So now we have your SheP ready to go. Are you ready to go? Ladies, what I'm talking about here is site prep. Yes, that involves either shaving or a very, very close clipper. You know, like that Phillips body groomer, that hysterical commercial that came out a while back. Yep, that's what you're going to have to do. The goal when placing the SheP is to place it as close to the anus without covering. Now, some of you will say, but what about the front? That means it doesn't cover up very much in the front up here. Well, that's actually by design. If you look at the SheP closely, you'll see that it has a lot of contact area up front. That is because um, due to our anatomy, if the SheP is too far forward, you'll actually push the internal labia lips and possibly the clitoris into the reservoir and that actually feels a lot like pinching. So again, placed as far back as you can without covering the anus. And then what that'll mean is you're actually going to cover and protect the clitoris and part of the um, internal labial lips with this front contact area. One of the things that's nice about the Eurobond for is that it can actually be peeled and restuck. So something to keep in mind when you're placing this, these, uh, this is the edge of the reservoir right here. You want that to be right about there on the um, external labia. You don't want it to be in here catching part of the little internal lips. So if you put the SheP on and you stand up and feel any pinching, then you'll want to peel it off and the most likely culprit is you've placed it in like that and you're actually pinching the um, kind of the corner of the internal labia. The next question I always get is how much Eurobond should I put on this? So the Eurobond 4 is a brush in the cap. So you'll want to, it likes to drip a bit sometimes, so you like to actually uh, wipe the brush off a little bit on the um, side of the jar. When it's time to coat the sheep, you'll actually put a nice kind of thin layer on the device. You may have to go back and get some more uh, Eurobond out of the jar, that's perfectly fine. Let's zoom this in so you can see a little bit closer what I'm doing here. And you'll actually kind of see the uh, Eurobond look, um, it'll, it'll change in kind of color. It gets a little bit light where there's bubbles. I put a, um, a fair amount on. 
I don't skimp too much. If you get too much Eurobond on, then it actually takes longer to dry. If you try to put the sheepy on before the Eurobond is tacky, it'll actually um, just kind of fall right off. So now you have a nice little layer of the Eurobond on the sheepy. You'll see it kind of almost makes the edges fold up a little bit. I can touch this and it's starting to get very, very, very sticky. Not all women do this, but I use a second layer of Eurobond on myself. Um, this means then that I have adhesive sticking to adhesive, which I find um, gives me a lot more security when uh, spending all day diving or doing a lot of hiking or driving in between dives. Um, you can actually use enough adhesive uh, while you're doing this to kind of um, glue your butt cheeks together, which can be a little bit entertaining. Um, but again, as I said before, the sheepy with the Eurobond 4 can actually be peeled and restuck for positioning purposes. So if you find yourself kind of too stuck together, um, you can actually peel it back without having to reapply. Women's anatomy is different, and what you'll find is some women have very small inner labial lips, kind of like this model, and others will have a little bit longer labial lips. And some women like to kind of fold them forward, again, so that they're all protected under the contact area of your sheepy. If you apply your sheepy before the adhesive is um, done getting tacky, it'll actually just kind of flop off and, and then you'll be upset with me for, you know, selling you this adhesive that doesn't stick. A side note here, something that uh, a few of us have found is that you really, at this point, after you put some adhesive on the device and on yourself, you want to make sure to close your jar of Eurobond. Close it well. Uh, I've forgotten. I've been so excited to get my sheet pee in place and get out the door that I've kind of left the lid off and this stuff likes to dry out. Now I think we're just about ready. Um, we're going to give this a shot. There's a couple ways that I've heard of women applying their sheet pee. I personally go from the back first. Um, a lot of times I'll kind of put my finger on the rear contact area of the sheep pee and see if I can show you this I'll just kind of press it in the general direction that I want it to go um, right by uh, in just in front of the anus um, this is also the time after you've kind of pressed it all into place you can give it a tug and you'll feel that it's um, very very secure once your adhesive has gotten um, good and sticky and you're having good success. If you stand up and you feel your sheep pee pinching anywhere on either side um, or in front, this is the time where you will want to fix it. It's not going to get better during the dive. So you'll actually peel and re-stick. Um, you know, on one side, if one of the inner labial lips is caught over here, you'll peel it off and reposition and kind of re-stick things. Some women will use a piece of pink tape and they'll actually have put it across the top here kind of to um, give a little bit more support. Um, I personally, and I'll show you this in a little bit, use um, a couple thong bikinis and, uh, and a pair of boy short underwear to um, hold your, what would then be your extension in place on your um, belly. So then when it's time to take your she pee off, the end of the day or the end of the dive day, um, you'll actually want to peel it at a 90 degree angle. Adhesives are actually weakest at peeling strength. And you may give a little bit of uh, counter tension with the skin. So you'll just peel it off. Um, be reasonably gentle here. After removing my sheep pee, I'll usually rinse it uh, with some fresh water, uh, maybe a little bit of soap if I've got that available. Then I'll fold it up 
and put it in its bag and then it'll be ready for cleaning when I get home. Um, with regards to me, um, I'll use a bit of baby oil and put that on myself. I may, once I get home, need to use a adhesive wipe to get the final residual off, but usually the baby oil um, will have done a pretty good job. One thing to note, you will get some adhesive on your underwear, so I like to use a designated set. 